Have you ever wondered what happens in a computer after you turn it on? First up, your BIOS or the fancier UEFI starts. Think of it as a wise old grandpa of your computer. It's stored on a tiny chip on your motherboard and its job is to perform post. Power on, self test. It checks if the RAM is chill, if the CPU is breathing or is the keyboard actually plugged in. If anything goes wrong, you might get a blue screen or a beep code. That's the computer's way of saying, Houston, we have a problem. Once post process is done, BIOS looks for a bootable device. This is where the MBR or GPT comes into play. These are the tiny sections pretty much like a treasure map for the operating systems. It tells information about how the disk is partitioned and most crucially where the bootloader is located. Here is the MVP, the bootloader. For Linux users, it's often the grub and for Windows, it's Windows bootloader. This little program is responsible for loading the operating system's kernel into the memory. It's like a bouncer making sure only the right stuff gets in. The kernel is the core of any operating system. It's the brain, the boss and the general manager. Once the bootloader loads it, the kernel takes over. It is responsible for initializing all the hardware, managing memory and gets everything ready for your applications to run. It's basically the command center making sure everything is smooth. After the kernel boots up, it hands over the control to the init system. This could be system D or syswinit or something similar. The init system is responsible for starting all the essential services and processes that your operating system needs to function, like networking, display manager, sound, etc. It's like setting up all the furniture and utilities in your new house. Finally, after all that, we see our login screen. What seems to be quick has so much things happening behind for us to enjoy.